Hey guys, you're in a nutshell with me, Ina. Alam niyo, naguguluhan na ako. Ewan eh, oh, kung naguguluhan o nalilito o natataka na lang siguro. Natataka ako bakit pa iba-iba ang figures, yung mga numbers na nakikita ko sa mga news reports tungkol sa bilang ng mga immigrants na inaasahang mapauwi. Okay, mawala ng status at mapauwi dahil dito sa mga recent changes sa immigration policies ng Canada. I had a, an episode more than a week ago, I think, talking about um, 1.2 million temporary immigrants ang inaasahan daw mapauwi in just one year. That was according, I think, to uh, the Toronto Star. Balikan nyo lang po yung episode na yun, ano? In that, in, uh, there, I raised some questions about, you know, talaga ba, voluntarily, um, you expect all these um, people who will run out of sta- who will go out of status na uuwi na lang ng ganun-ganun yun yung mga question ko doon tsaka paano kaya i-monitor yung mga tao na out of status di ba um, ngayon i found uh, a video na syempre papakita ko na naman sa inyo no na tinatanong mismo si Immigration Mark Miller Immigration Minister Mark Miller na mga similar questions at tinatanong siya ng isang member of parliament, isang MP, during a session sa parliament. Um, sa mga plano, o paano nyo malalaman kung umuwi yung mga taong mag expire ang visa? How will you monitor them? Um, ilan ba ang inaasahan nyo talagang mapauwi? Yung mga ganong tanong. Ano. Dalawa lang naman ang takeaway ko dito, sa totoo lang. Si Mark Miller, parang hindi siya makabigay. Sa ngayon, ano, hindi siya makabigay ng specific plan unless you know it's confidential and they don't want to say it and i think parang hindi rin happy itong CMP si na nagtatanong doon sa mga nakuha niyang sagot ano ito na nga yung pinapoint al ko doon sa una kong episode um mahirap i think yung magiging monitoring um no mga taong mag-expire ang visa halimbawa at lalo na yung enforcement if ang gusto yung mangyari ng gobyerno ng Canada ay umuwi ang mga taong ito yan yung una kong takeaway. Pangalawa, nagulat ako bigla dito sa mga bilang na pinag-uusapan nila. Sabi ko nga, 1.2 million yung napag-usapan dun sa isa kong episode. Ngayon, they're talking about almost 5 million immigrants on temporary visas now. E mag expire daw by 2025 at maaring umuwi. You know, ha? Ang dami bigla. Kala ko yung 1 point, nung 1.2 million, laking-laki na ako. Ngayon, uh, 4.9 million visas daw are going to expire by December 2025. Ang gusto malaman nitong MP, um, ilan dyan ba talaga ang talagang inaasahan yung umalis ng Canada? At paano nyo ito gagawin? Okay, sige, panoorin nyo muna to. Thank you, Chair. Minister, uh, your department tabled uh, documents with Parliament that show that 4.9 million visas are going to expire between September 2024 and December 2025. Um, how will we know how many of those actually wind up leaving? As you noted, MP Kamich, when people come here uh, in many of their visa documents, they undertake to leave uh, as part of the levels plan. Um, there will be some re- visas that are temporary in nature that will not be reviewed, uh, renewed rather. Uh, and those people, when they undertook to came here to come here, will be expected to leave. Uh, and that's uh, that is simply a fact. Uh, we'll have to monitor that carefully. Um, there are many measures within our department to to monitor these things. Um, but it's one that, Minister, will, given the, the volume. How? Given the volume in question, uh, it's something that we'll have to be very careful in supervising. Okay. Una sa lahat, ano? So, saan galing yung 4.9 million? Baka sabihin ng ilan sa inyo, um, exaggerated. Okay. According to MP Kamich, um, based yan, o nakasaad yung number na yan, sa documents submitted sa kanila ng Immigration Department. Okay. But again, sinasabi lang doon na may 4.9 million visas expected to expire. Hindi naman po sinasabi na uuwi lahat ng yan. Di ba? Tinatanong nga, ilan, pa, ilan ba talaga dyan ang mapapauwi? Pero tinan nyo yung sagot ni Mark Miller, no? parang hindi rin clear. Hindi rin clear. I would expect na may number siya in mind. 
Kasi nga, they just presented yung immigration levels plan nila, indicating, you know, numbers na gusto nilang i-manage, di ba? Indicating yung bilang ng mga immigrants na gusto nilang manatili dito. Yung mga ganun ba? So, I would expect meron siyang mabigay na number, pero wala eh. Mr. I wasn't asking about whether they will leave or not. I'm asking you the how will you ensure that a yeah. person whose visa has expired will leave? We know that just on study permits, there are 766,000 expiring by the end of December 2025. How will your department ensure that at the end of those study permit periods, those persons will leave? Again, uh, there are many ways that people leave the country, Tom. Uh, the vast majority leave voluntarily uh, and that's what's expected so what? the vast majority leave voluntarily and that's what's expected really oh okay oy pero sir demon sabi din eh dun sa 4.9 million 766,000 are international students with visas expected to expire though by 2025 Medyo ang hirap naman sagutin din talaga nitong tanong na ito kung ilan paano do may ensure na uuwi yung mga yan. Eh may option naman po yung mga international students kasi to um you know secure a post graduation work permit which in effect will allow them to stay. No, ang hirap naman sagutin ni Miller yan dahil hindi naman niya alam ang plano ng mga international students, di ba? Explain those ways how will you ensure it? Um We work with our partners, including CBSA, to investigate, uh, obviously, and, and prosecute those who violate immigration law. If someone refuses to leave, they're in violation of the law. Uh, and CBSA, after due process, has the legal obligation to remove people. Um, again, this isn't something that is taken lightly, but in the vast majority of cases, those people that uh, have come here temporarily uh, and do not have the right to stay, in fact, leave. So then my, my next question will be, your plan calls for a cap on international students, 485,000 2024, 437,000 2025. Uh, there's been adjustments to those. So obviously there's a discrepancy between the two. So how many do, do you project will leave the country then at the end of December 2025? All 766,000? Well, what's the proportion? Well, what are the forecasts the department has? You'll have to be... <laughs> Inulit lang din niya yung tanong niya, no? Ba't niya inulit? Eh kasi nga medyo hindi specific yata yung, hindi siguro siya satisfied dahil hindi specific yung sagot ni Mark Miller, eh, di ba? Clear on that. A discrepancy between what and what? Between the number of people who will be allowed into the country and then the number of people who will be on a study permit that's expiring. So those who are expiring the end of December 2025, how many of them will actually leave? Are you saying 100% will be expected to leave or are you going to send CBSA to chase all 766,000? Oh, bago po natin ipagpatuloy yung episode na yan, ako, just a short commercial. Um, this channel, ito pong in a nutshell, is open for collaboration, guys. Ha? If you're interested in creating content with me, please contact Talentado Creative Agency o yung Talentado CA. Nako, sila po ang mag-handle ng mga collaborations for in a nutshell. Um, yeah, and for content creators looking for someone to help boost your channels, whether here on YouTube, on Facebook, TikTok, nako, i-consider nyo po ang Talentado Agency. Uh, matutulungan po kayo, ito ng anak ko, matutulungan po kayo in networking. Ako personally, nako, ang dami ko na agad natutulan sa kapwa, Talentado, talents uh, na nakausap ko na. No? Ang dami mga tips on how to improve and boost my channel. So yeah, ito po ang uh, contact information ng Talentado CA and I will also put it down in the description box if you're interested. Okay, back to the episode. You know that that is not what happens. There are a number of things that occur. Some people actually get renewals. Uh, some people get postgraduate work permits and stay mm -hmm. a longer period. Uh, and we do work with CBSA to monitor these things. And when Statistics Canada reports on these, uh, they take into account a, v a whole variety of factors in estimating how many people are here and how many people have left. So at the end of uh, this year, uh, 2024, how many international students do you expect to leave and how many have left so far when their study permits expired? Medyo halos magkakapareho din ang tanong. Ano? Gusto niya talaga ng ano eh, kung number talaga, ako, a specific number. How many have left?
and I would, you know, kahit pa paano, I would expect sana si itong immigration minister na handa siya with these numbers. Kasi they just presented yung immigration levels plan nila. Kung saan, di ba, pinresent niya doon yung bilang ng mga permanent um, immigrants and temporary immigrants na gusto nilang manatili dito sa Canada in the coming years. So I would expect at least meron siyang mabigay sana na ball ballpark figure, di ba? Pero ayun na nga, no? Parang, uh, parang wala, eh. As so of far, November, uh, November today, we don't have October that number. First. Can you provide those to the committee? Um, I don't know. We could look into it. Well, Minister, how, how can you not know? It's in the immigration levels plan. There's a bunch of charts on page 22 yes. starting about temporary resident immigration to Canada, persons who are in the country. It, it's in the immigration levels plan. Uh, it's in there. So how can you not know what that number would be? There's uh, an order paper question. These, these government documents that were signed by your parliamentary secretary that were tabled with parliament that has the number. So they're supposed to be uh, expiring study permits by in December, 84,642. And then in November, 36,130. Um, in October, 10,182. In the month before, 127,348. So how many of those people are still in the country? How many have received the renewal? And how many of them have CBSA now looking at them? What I can provide to you as a number is the expected decrease over that period of over the three-year period, which is about 450 the first year, 450 the next year. That's net-net, uh, incoming and outcoming, uh, with a slight increase in, in, in 2027. So, ewan ko, mahi, ang, ang dami ng numbers na binitawan, ano. Pero parang hindi pa rin niya nasasagot yung uh, tanong. Actually, it's just, uh, I think it's an issue of really monitoring, eh. Di ba? Um, if they've monitored in the past years kung ilan sa mga nabigyan ng student visa ang nag-request ng, ano ba, renewal, extension, or PGWP, um, then he, he'd be able to answer this. Dapat meron silang ganong data, di ba? So uh, again, so how are you going to track then those whose work permits are expiring by the end of 2025? Again, it's in the hundreds of thousands. Uh, you're not giving me much confidence or Canadians confidence that you have a plan because we have a breakdown by month how many student visas and work visas are expiring. And you, you haven't provided any information on the means. How are you going to do it? You say you have partner organizations, you're working with people. What are you actually doing? What's the process? How are you going to ensure people abide by the visa conditions? As I said to you before, uh, any, just like the vast majority of people that come to the country the, on a temporary basis, the vast majority leave. In some cases, uh, increasingly many, I will concede, people decide to choose. They are in a situation of irregularity in that case. Uh, once they have exhausted their remedies, they are removed by CBSA. Narinig nyo ang ano, no? Para siyang uh, sinita nung nung MP, no? Hindi naman sinata. Ano ba tamang word dun? Sabi niya, you're not giving me much confidence. Dahil wala ka pang binibigay na konkretong plan, no? Wala ka pang nasasabing, you know, specific plan. So that, that's interesting because you've made public statements repeatedly claiming and saying and alleging based on IRCC data that that is not what's going on. And that's why the IRB now has a record number of backlogged applications for asylum. And you have said that tens of thousands of them are actually international students who are staying longer to applying for asylum. And you're claiming they don't have a legitimate claim to make that those are your quotes the headlines you're generating by doing communications out there. So uh, are you saying you don't have a plan, that this is part of your plan to have an increasing backlog at the IRB to deal with it? Thank you. Um, Minister, you please respond. There are an increasing number of international students making asylum claims, I think with very little hope given their conditions. Uh, they, uh, whether you like it or not, are entitled to a form of due process in this country. I don't think you would purport to deny it to them. Um, are there things we can do to make sure that's more streamlined? I would encourage you to uh, follow the next few weeks as we propose more amendments to the immigration system and the asylum system. Uh, but let's recall that, ev but that every party in this House, except for the Liberal Party, voted down our asylum reforms in the budget. Uh, it's a bit shameful considering Parang kulang eh, no? Hindi siguro satisfied. Mukhang hindi talaga satisfied yung MP sa mga sagot nito ni uh, Mark Miller. Pero ayun na nga, sabi ni Mark Miller, bantayan nyo na lang in the coming weeks dahil meron pa siyang 
i-announce na changes. Marami pang ibang changes daw sa immigration system and the asylum system. Naku, ayun na nga, no? Nakailang episode na tayo tungkol dyan sa asylum na yan. So, ayun, what do you think about that exchange? I think this is just a, a reiteration, ano, yung nauna ko nga ang vlog. Hindi pa rin nawawala talaga yung mga tanong sa so, kung paano ba i-enforce kaya, or rather, i-implement ng uh, Trudeau government yung immigration levels plan nila. Yung plano nila, limiting the number of immigrants in the coming years, which technically means that some will have to go home. Diba? Yun lang naman yung tanong dun eh. Paano kaya nila enforce yun? So anyway, that's just it for this episode. Um, I'll end this here. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!